The Fields of the Cloth of Gold depicts a huge party and pageant masterminded by Cardinal Wolsey, Henry VIII's right-hand man. We have done a full restoration and cleaning of this painting, which hadn't been treated for a long time. Now, large-scale paintings like this do take time. This has taken us 15 months from the early exploratory cleaning tests to the point we are now, coming to the end of the retouching and preparing it for display. It was a meeting, an extravagant meeting and display in northern France between the two kings, the Renaissance king, Francis I, and the Reformation king, Henry VIII. They'd been at war very recently, but Wolsey orchestrated this meeting in June of 1520 to bring peace in Europe. It's a whole panoramic representation and it's laid out in the form of a map, but you also see the chronology of some of the events as well. You can sort of play with time as they did and you see Henry here represented three times once arriving at the left, second meeting Francis in the tent with a sort of warm shake embrace, and thirdly, the two kings side by side with their wives at the very important centre of activities called the Tilt Yard, which was where all the jousting took place. We don't know who it was painted by, but we do know that it was painted by more than one painter. There are certain graphic elements in the painting, so some of the figures are painted really differently. The group of yeomen at the front of the painting have very different faces to the portraits of Henry, Wolsey and the Tudor court. You can definitely identify two hands in there. So it's, it is very interesting trying to prise apart who did what. The painting had quite a lot of very discoloured natural resin varnish and a more recent layer. So it looked dark and discoloured and in removing those varnish layers, the colours of course are much brighter and more like the original. Some of the colours have faded, but really it's an amazing uh, revelation. Often in, in when you're removing varnishes, you might work quite a general way, but when it got to the final layer, there's so much detail in the painting that you had to work with really quite small swabs in order to remove the sort of lumpy quality of the varnish, which could be obscuring, for example, an entire highlight. Cleaning and conservation process has been absolutely lovely, as well as being hard work uh, because it's a big painting. It's been really, really fun to rediscover all the little tiny details and see how different artists work together. A large painting of this size is often worked on by more than one person. It was painted by more than one person. I mean, there's a reason for that. It was recording huge amounts of detail, trying to describe an event, to describing human behaviour. I think that is very interesting. You're seeing human behaviour at the right and courtly behaviour at the left. There's an awful lot in this. But it does have one area of historical damage from probably early 17th century. The figure of Wolsey got slightly damaged, his eye, and the figure of Henry VIII as well. The painting was hung in Whitehall Palace and there's a tale of, in James I's time, he's meeting the Spanish ambassador and the retinue is in the same room as this painting. It's alleged that one of the retinue cut the face of Henry out of the painting as some sort of souvenir. So later on, um, the painting was restored and another picture of Henry was inserted into that space. 
And if you look closely, you can see that the head is a little bit too big and he's very much in the Holbein idiom of looking straight out at the viewer. Whereas it's very likely that in the original painting, he would have been rather three quarter view on uh, facing in the way of the procession. I think it's, it's one of these extraordinary paintings when you're trying to describe why it's extraordinary, it does keep giving and even having worked on it for 15 months, you still see new details. It was very important to have it in clear as our intention that we were going to get as close as we could to the painting as it would have appeared when it was first executed. <music>